My name is Mimi Chen and I go to Copper Hills and I'm the String Scholar for Visual Arts. I am a president for a medical club and I'm an artist. I want to be a String Scholar because it gives me a voice. It's one of the biggest ways I can show my mom gratitude. She sacrificed her life for me to be here. When I was little, I wasn't living the life that she wanted me to have. I didn't do well in school because I didn't know English. That changed when I discovered art. Art was a way for me to communicate through pictures and colors. The skills I've developed through art has eventually helped me through school as well. My mom could see that and she was proud and she finally knew why she sacrificed for me to be here. I really want to learn how to swim because I have this fear of water. I'm scared of water because I'm so short so my legs don't hit the floor. I really want to get over that fear and learn how to swim because I think the ocean is really beautiful and I really want to paint a picture of the ocean and hang it up in my wall to kind of show that I overcame this fear by taking classes and by going on a boat. Another goal that I have is I want to travel to my homeland. I've never been there, but I want to go there to help the people in need. I really want to go back to help them in person. I want to donate money. The reason why this is so important to me is because my family used to be in that position. They had to worry every day whether they'll get food today or tomorrow. And I want to come back to show gratitude and I want to tell them that I haven't forgotten them. I am planning to save money for the next five years to donate the money and I really want to hug the people there to give them some sort of comfort to know that someone like me still thinks about them. A career objective that I have is I want to become a pediatrician. I'm the youngest in my family and that means I have never really dealt with screaming toddlers but I do deal with a lot of kids at my church. I really want to instill values on them that makes their life meaningful. There was a kid named Don and he was very rowdy and disrespectful. There was a day where he had a really bad bloody nose and I pulled him over and I would wipe it. And I just sat with him for five minutes, just comforting him. Once he got back to class, his behavior changed. He became respectful and attentive. My kindness changed his behavior. I had this fascination for medicine, but I wanted to help these kids make a change and an impact. I am planning on finishing my pharmacy tech program, but after that, I really want to go to the University of Utah to study biology and go into the medical school. I will accomplish my goal because I want to do it for Dawn and I want to do it for the kids. An activity that I participated in was I tutored at my church and I taught Vietnamese. This has taught me how to love my culture. I was teaching second graders and these second graders were bored out of their mind, but I wanted to emphasize the importance of their culture, specifically the language. Language was what made me connect with who I am and my family. I really wanted them to connect to their family on the same level. Standing there, I was no longer a student, but now I'm a mentor. I am responsible for helping them continue to keep this culture alive. It has taught me to share my culture and it has taught me how to be in tune with who I am and where I came from.